Hi, now we're going to talk about color temperature. Color temperature refers to the color of a light source. Different types of light have an inherent color which must be considered before you begin shooting. This color is measured in degrees Kelvin. Here's a look at the spectrum with the attached Kelvin values and situations that occur within each color range. Natural daylight is blue in its color and will range between 5600 Kelvin on a sunny day to around 10,000 Kelvin under cloudy conditions. Interior light is generally much warmer and closer to the red end of the spectrum and will usually measure around 3000 Kelvin, though this number can vary greatly depending on the type of light source. Traditional tungsten light bulbs are usually around 2500 to 3000 Kelvin, but the now more common fluorescent lighting measures around 4 to 5000 Kelvin. This is a photo taken with a proper daylight white balance setting. Changing the camera setting to a lower Kelvin value results in the picture becoming very blue. Conversely, if the camera is set to a Kelvin value that is too high for the light you're shooting in, the picture will become much warmer or orange looking. This isn't necessarily a bad thing as sometimes warming up the picture has a nice feel to it. Try using and comparing different white balance settings on your camera to see the results. Generally, the higher the value of Kelvin setting relative to the actual color temperature, the more orange a photo will look. So if you take a picture in an interior light situation, which would usually be around 3000 Kelvin, with a value any higher than 3000, the picture will get warmer. Most cameras now have many different color balance options. You can even dial in the exact color temperature you might wish to use. While you're mostly limited to using the proper setting for whatever light source you're using, it can be handy to adjust slightly to make your image warmer or cooler as desired. Color temperature can also be drastically adjusted in photo editing software, but it's best to capture the most accurate image in the first place to save yourself a lot of time in photo editing. Be sure to check out the Getting Started section of the course to see more about selecting the proper white balance settings.